Welcome to Dr. Health Hub. Today, we're talking about something serious but very important, dengue fever. Have you ever heard of it? Yes, dengue is a viral infection spread by mosquitoes, especially the Aedes aegypti mosquito. It's very common in tropical and subtropical regions. According to the CDC, millions of cases happen worldwide, every year. Most people recover, but in some cases, dengue can be severe and even life-threatening if not recognized early. That sounds scary. So what exactly happens when someone gets dengue? There are actually four types of dengue, virus, called serotypes, DENV1 through DENV4. A person can be infected more than once. The first infection may be mild, but a second infection with a different type sometimes carries a higher risk of severe disease. So not all dengue cases are the same. Correct. Classic dengue fever usually begins with sudden high fever, severe headache, pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, and sometimes a rash. That's why dengue is sometimes nicknamed breakbone fever because of the intense body aches. And what about the dangerous type? I've heard about warning signs. Yes, dengue with warning signs is more serious. Symptoms to watch for include severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, bleeding from the nose or gums, blood and vomit or stool, difficulty breathing, extreme fatigue or restlessness. These signs mean that the body's organs are under stress or that blood vessels are leaking. If untreated, it can progress to severe dengue, which can cause shock or organ failure. So if someone has those warning signs, they should go to a hospital immediately? Exactly. Early medical attention is life-saving. What causes dengue in the first place? Just the mosquito? Yes, the bite of an infected mosquito. The 80s mosquito breeds in small collections of standing water and is most active during the day. Once it bites a person with dengue, it can carry the virus and spread it to others. Dengue doesn't spread directly from person to person. The mosquito is always the carrier. That's why people talk so much about mosquito control. But how do doctors diagnose dengue? If someone has fever and symptoms and lives in or has traveled to a dengue area, doctors will suspect it. Blood tests confirm the infection by detecting the virus, its genetic material, or antibodies. Sometimes we also see low white blood cell or platelet counts. And treatment. Is there a special medicine for dengue? At the moment, there's no specific antiviral medicine for dengue. Treatment is supportive. The most important part is hydration, drinking plenty of fluids, or in severe cases, intravenous fluids. Fever can be managed with safe medicines prescribed by doctors. Hospital care is needed for severe dengue to closely monitor and manage complications. Antibiotics don't help because dengue is a virus, and some pain relievers should be avoided because they increase bleeding risk. So the key is fluids, rest, and medical care if it gets worse. Prevention must be even more important then. Yes, prevention is the best protection. Use mosquito repellent, wear long sleeves and pants, and use nets or screens. Just as important, remove standing water around the house, like flower pots, buckets, tires, because that's where mosquitoes breed. Some countries also have vaccines for dengue, but they are only for certain groups and not for everyone. So for most people, personal protection and mosquito control remain the main prevention methods. That sounds like something all of us can do. Just cleaning our homes, using nets, and being careful outdoors can make a big difference. Exactly. Communities that work together to control mosquitoes see fewer dengue outbreaks. Let's make it simple for everyone listening. Dengue fever is spread by mosquitoes. There are four types, and you can get dengue more than once. Classic dengue causes high fever, headache, body pain, and rash. Dengue with warning signs can cause bleeding, abdominal pain, and organ problems. And that's when you must see a doctor fast. Treatment is fluids, rest, and monitoring. And prevention means protecting yourself from mosquito bites and keeping your environment clean. That's right. Knowledge and prevention are powerful tools. With early recognition and good care, most people recover well, but protecting ourselves and reducing mosquito breeding is the best way to avoid dengue in the first place. 
Thank you, doctor. And thank you for listening to Dr. Health Hub. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more trusted health tips. And remember, your health is your wealth.